So I got a few, a couple of videography upgrades here. I got this mic, if you haven't noticed yet. You guys have probably seen in my previous videos, like I, when I record in the gym, the way my lens works is it doesn't zoom. It has a really good aperture, which I love using it. But when I explain things, I have to talk really loud so you can hear me. But then all the background noise is really tough, so I have to put subtitles. But now, with this mic, I think it solved the problem. And then I also have this cool ring light <laughs> that I'm using. So, um, you know, I'm going full influencer status right now just to kind of give you guys the best quality content um, possible that I can so far. So those are some upgrades, but uh, mostly just wanted to talk to you guys about my experience so far in prep. So I have about 11 weeks until my competition and it will be on March 25th um, in a true novice competition, true novice men's physique comp, which means in order to qualify for a true novice physique competition, you would have never competed in any comps before. So obviously I'll be going against other people who have never competed either. So it's gonna be kind of an even lineup on stage to where I won't feel intimidated from people who have been competing for years, you know? So true novice, the goal is obviously first place. We'll see how it goes. I've been training harder than I ever have in my life. Started about five weeks ago and this is Road to Stage episode number, number eight. So pretty much two videos a week, almost two videos a week which I am honestly surprised that I've been able to maintain this consistency on YouTube. But, um, you know, I, I've done Q&As, I've done um, day in the life, morning routines, my favorite workouts. So mostly I just kind of want to talk to you guys about my concerns kind of for men's physique, kind of my plan moving forward. The main concern I have right now is that I will be too small in comparison to other people because I may look really big on Instagram, like when I post pictures, really good pump, really good lighting and stuff. Um, but I actually have a very small frame. I'm only 5'8". Uh, right now I'm 155 pounds. I'm expecting when I hit stage, I'll probably be in the 140s. So I'm actually a pretty small person. Naturally, like I just don't have a very big, very large frame. So I'm worried that I'm going to kind of be too small in comparison to other people, which obviously the reason why I'm doing men's physique because they kind of look for more of the aesthetic um, appealing physique as opposed to like, you know, huge bodybuilder type physiques, which are just kind of mind boggling to look at, but less appealing to the general public. So and that's the reason why I'm doing men's physique. Yeah, I still do feel like I might be too small in comparison to other people. So um, that is one worry, but I do know that I'll be conditioned enough. So, but um, yeah, that's my first concern is not being able to be to compare to other people on stage because I'll be too small. The concern number two is not being able to showcase my physique properly in front of the judges. So just uh, posing in general for men's physique, um, I wanna be able to showcase my physique perfectly in front of them or as perfect as I can because you only get like 30 seconds for a men's physique routine on stage. Not very much time at all to show you know, years and years of work in front of the judges, you know? So I want to be able to make this routine as perfect as I can. So I'm going to be showing you guys my routine in this video um, after my arm workout today to get some advice. So make sure you, you know, you comment, give me a, some advice on what parts you liked, what parts I can improve on. So my plan moving forward for the next 11 weeks is to mostly main gain, which means to just maintain my body fat and to build as much muscle as I possibly can. So it's not a bulk um, or anything like that. It's not even a lean bulk. This is just main gaining, which means to maintain the same body fat percentage that I have right now. I think I'm at around like seven or 8% body fat. Um, but you know, I've never done like a DEXA scan. This is just kind of eyeballing it, but that's what I think I'm at right now. And then probably about a month, you know, four weeks out from my comp, I'm going to really actually do a cut to lose as much body fat as I possibly can. Because I'm already so lean that if I start cutting right now, then I'm just going to have not enough energy to work out, which, you know, surprisingly enough, I am comfortable at this body fat percentage. I can maintain seven or 8% body fat year round luckily just because of my genetics i have 
very low fat cells like i get full really easily i got a, i have a really small stomach my body just really likes being small i'm like designed to be like a long distance distance runner i have like mostly ectomorph and some mesomorph body type so it's like i'd say maybe 60 percent uh, ectomorph and 40 percent mesomorph so i do have good genetics for building muscle but mostly good genetics for just being very lean and hardly gaining any fat naturally so i'm pretty lucky in that sense although i've never actually been able to bulk before so that's you know the plan moving forward is to main gain work as hard as i can in the gym increase the intensity and then pretty close to the comp i'll start really cutting down my calories to get conditioned as possible that's, <laughs> oh, that's a camera dude that's so cool that's right <laughs> I'm a snake. <laughs> Boy. We got Darren here, we got the whole crew, we got we got Kamen, Jared, Mander. But look this kid. <laughs> Both wearing the uh was it the denim shorts? <laughs> got all the boys here. Yeah. Is there Dude, you're too fancy now. I don't feel worthy to be around you. <laughs> and we go into the shed. The equipment out here. I don't even have a membership here, I just get day passes. Now this is where to go, not crowded at all. I came in with his camera, man with his magic setup. <laughs> This is like the Spider-Man meme. <laughs> mic is on, right? <laughs> yeah, it's on. <laughs> I just recorded the, the or, uh, recorded the whole thing, and the mic wasn't even on, so. But uh, I think it's good now. But I am using these headphones because I had Beats, and one side completely went out. So these headphones I've been using, and I don't even know where I got them. I got them for free from this company that wanted me to shout them out and they're cool I don't even know where they're from though but we're going to be doing arms, bides and tries and we're starting with reverse grip pull-ups because reverse grip kind of is more of a bicep focus you're going to isolate the biceps a little bit better than just a normal overhand grip so next we're going to be doing a kind of a reverse grip kind of like a drag curl so with the drag curl you grab it and with the supinated grip. And then you follow through with your palms in a straight motion. Yeah, for YouTube. Pump cover removal activated. On the mic. <laughs> I'm gonna attach it to my. I'm one of those YouTubers that uses a mic now. I don't know what to think of that. Is that a good or a bad thing? Yeah. Yeah. We're good. All right, so we're going to our last sets here on the um, pull-ups and the and the rows, and we're going to move to isolation exercises after this, getting an even crazier pump. Classic. Yeah. Are ready to go to school? Yeah, <laughs> ready to go to class? <laughs> we call these the crucifix or Samson curls. <sighs> We're 
affecting my double bicep pose that I never do. <laughs> Making sure to pause at the top with time on attention. Secret to maximizing the pump is adding sodium to your pre-workout and shaving your arms saving your arms right before you hit the gym. Being and being lean. <laughs> oh yeah, that's important. So what we're gonna do now, we're moving to triceps and we're gonna be doing samurais with the cables. So what you do is we're gonna do overhead first. We're gonna burn out with these and then when you burnt out there, we're going to immediately drop to these. So we're gonna do both of those. So I'm gonna burn out here first. Oh geez, old burn. Uh, sharp. Okay, <laughs> so next we're gonna be doing Okay, you good? Okay, next we're gonna do a shark press. It's pretty much like a like a diamond push-up. So it's for triceps, kind of to add some mass overall. So I like to do it on a decline. And grip, close grip. Then as you go down, bring the elbows out. And then it squeeze at the top. Classic. Nice job. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna um, show you guys my posing routine. Right now I'm working on um, flow, trying to make it a good transition between each pose. So here's how it's looking right now. So um, just comment down below like what you think I can work on, what I can add, what I can take away. That was just like the simple version. Um, so I'm still working on that routine, but feeling pretty happy with how it is right now. 